So what is Andorra? Great question. So Andorra is a small little country between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. And it's a pretty cool place. One of the interesting things about Andorra is that Andorra is the only country whose official language is Catalan. So Catalan is the language, it's kind of like Spanish, it's spoken in the Basque region of Spain, but because the Basque region, like Barcelona, is part of Spain, Andorra is the only country whose official language is Catalan. So I've been staying in the capital called Andorra de la Valle, which translates to Andorra of the Valley for the last few weeks. I've just kind of been working remote, uh, meeting people, and having a pretty great time overall. Andorra is also the only Principe in the world. So that means that it is a country ran by princes. Uh, it actually has two princes, the president of France and a bishop in Spain. And it's the only country who is ran by princes. It's been that way for a while, since like the 1200s and just never changed. There's a ton of construction going on in Andorra. So the building right behind me is, it looks like a luxury apartment building being built now, just all over the center of the city. So there's new buildings going up everywhere. It's kind of cool. And it's kind of like a city being built right before your eyes, which is something I've never seen before. But most of the people I've met so far here in Andorra are immigrants. So there's very few actual native Andorian people. Uh, most of them leave to go to Spain just for jobs and Andorra nowadays has a lot of a lot of immigrants moving in. And it's pretty cool because they're starting up businesses, restaurants, like I've had some great Turkish food, some great Argentinian food, and it's kind of like a mini metropolis. It's kind of cool. So what is there to do in Andorra? Well, in the winter, a lot of people come here to ski, but I'm here in the summer, so there's no skiing, but there's a lot of mountains to climb, a lot of food to try. And the food is mainly Spanish food, so that you have like tortillas, but I'm here in the summer. By staying in the center, you're surrounded by mountains in the middle of a valley, so you can easily take a bus to go to a small town and hike, or just hike from the center of the city. It's very peaceful overall. Like it's not a busy style of life. And I like that, you know, I've been bang, 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 Mexico City, Barcelona, Boston. It's nice to have kind of take the foot off the gas and relax for a bit. Andorra is a great place to relax. Probably my favorite thing about Andorra is the cost. So it looks like Switzerland, but it costs about a third of the price of everything else in Switzerland does. So like I'm staying at hotels for $40 a night. You can have a full meal for like five euros. It's crazy. You'd think a place like this would be very expensive, especially coming from Barcelona. Barcelona is not a cheap city at all. However, Andorra is actually fairly cheap and it's been a really pleasant surprise. So if you're looking for a um, vacation on a budget, you should come to Andorra. We got some people from Andorra here. How are you? How are you? Fine, good. thank you. Good, good. What yes. a good, good day. Good here day. Here smoking some joints. Ah, good. Are, yes. are joints legal in Andorra? Yeah. No, no. No, illegal? Okay. <laughs> Only for us. Only good for you. Hey, have a good day. Have a good day. Welcome. Take care. Bye. Bye. Ciao. So we learned one thing else. Marijuana is illegal in Andorra. <laughs> illegal. Marijuana is illegal. <laughs> But it seems like you could do it anyway. So if you walk around Andorra enough, you'll probably notice a lot of very fancy cars. And the reason why there's so many like high-end luxury cars is because historically Andorra has been viewed as a tax haven for the wealthy people in Europe. So Andorra is not a member of the EU. Therefore, Andorra does not have to follow the EU tax laws and they have their own tax laws. And historically, it's been very advantageous for people with money in Europe to come and put that money in Andorra. I don't know exactly how that's done, but it's something that has happened. And I mean, it's definitely benefited Andorra a lot because Andorra is a very clean, beautiful city with very low crime and poverty. And Andorra has a 0% income tax rate, 
which means that any money you make, you keep all of it. You don't have to give any of it away for tax, which is very different than the States and Europe. Whereas in the States, sometimes you could pay up to like 40%, which means that out of all the money you'd make, you'd have to give 40% of it away for taxes, which is a lot of money. So you can kind of see why it would be very advantageous if you can figure out the tax laws in Andorra and you have a lot of money to make it work, figure out a way how to minimize your tax bracket while spending time in Andorra. And on average, Andorra is one of the safest countries in the world to be in. So you can walk around at night, no problem. There's virtually zero pickpocketing or crime whatsoever. There's a small little police force and they're pretty friendly, more so than anything else. If you ever come to Andorra, you never have to worry about crime or walking around at night. For some places in Europe, that's pretty rare. And I mean, it's definitely benefited Andorra a lot because Andorra is a very clean, beautiful city with very low crime and poverty. So how do you get to Andorra? There's only two ways to get here. So you can either take a bus from Toulouse, France, which I think is about four and a half hours, or you can take a bus from Barcelona, which is what I did. And that's about a three hour ride driving through the mountains. It's a very pretty of a drive, but there's no airport or no train station in this country. You can only get here by car or by bus. Lately, the only thing flying in this country has been my drone. If you ever get a chance to come to Andorra, you should come. I bet you will like it. 